identify as the problem we have with what? Distinguishing person from community. I will reward every effort because the text is not a straightforward text. Sir. It's a little engaging. It's a philosophical text. So if people made an effort at it and they are bringing out their views, I will reward it. So let me issue that uh, statement before we take off. What did you read? How? What do you think the problem is between community and individual? Raise your hands up, please. Ampem Dako, go ahead. Madam, please, can you hear me? Good morning, madam. I can hear you, Ampem Dako. Please go ahead. Um, so um, from the text I learned that um, uh, an individual isn't an individual if the community um, is not in place. It, um, what I'm trying to say is that um, the community um, is one of the factors that makes the individual a better person, a better human being or somebody in, um, in the community. So without the community, the individual is nothing. Um, and that please, I'm coming. Um, from and also from reading Juche's arguments, I learned that um, the community, or let's say the community, uh, constitutes the context, the social or cultural space in which the actualization of the possibilities of the individual person can take place, providing the individual person the opportunity to express his individuality to acquire and develop his personality and to fully become the kind of person. So in short, what I'm trying to say is that um, without the community, the individual is not who he is. It is the community that shapes the individual to become a better person in the future, whether he becomes morally right or morally wrong. Yes. Um, if the individual becomes morally right, then we see whether he becomes morally right or wrong. We don't say that um, um, I am for myself, but you see, I am for the community, and the, and the community is for me. Or also, we can also say this. There was an argument that debunked that debunk, um, what was said by this, what was said at him. And I am, uh, Madam, please, I'm coming. Let me refer. Right, don't worry. Okay. We are enjoying you, so go ahead. Okay, so it's um, okay, Madam. Um, there's there is uh, an argument on what was said as in I am who I am. I think that's who. I am because we are, and since we are, therefore I am. That's what we are trying to get, right? Yes, please, that one. Yes, yes, one. But, yes um, go ahead. Um, that argument makes us understand that um, we are for the community. Whatever we do is because of the community. Yes. And then um, we don't, an individual can't say he, he is, therefore he is, but rather he is for the community because the community is in existence. And then he's in existence because of the community. I don't know if. Um, but that's what I very good. That's that's a good effort. Great. So at least when you listen to Ampim Dakul, you could hear him reference Ampim Dakul references uh in BT mentioned uh, really I had it. Please can you get yourself mute? Please mute, 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 my friend. So we can hear him mention Redu, he mentions Jachi. He mentions in BT, he's quoting, making an attempt at quoting them. I think he did a great star summary. So he's referencing that. You can see that portions he's reading, and then he pauses and explains, and that is good. Good effort. So I hear a lot of the communitarian bit from uh, Anthony Dark. My question, though, is, Anthony Dark, good effort. Now, my question, though, is can we, def, can we clarify what the problem is? Is there a problem between? Please. If there's a problem of community versus individual, what would it be if, if we were to state the problem of community versus individual? What would that problem be? I want someone to help us state it. 
because it's an interaction. I don't want to mute you all and disallow you from being able to unmute. If I do that, then I'll, it will be a monologue. Okay, so please <clears throat> keep your background silent. That simply means when you are not speaking, just mute your mic. It's a beautiful, it's a Monday morning. Let's start it to work. Okay. All right, Richard Otinkra. Let me take Richard. After that, Tara, be on standby. I will reward these efforts. Okay, go ahead. Uh, good morning, madam. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Um, uh, please don't understand the uh, um, individualism in, from the African perspective. Um, that doesn't refer to just one person alone, but whoever is associated with that person, the community, the family, the friends, everyone who is associated with that person. So due to that, it, it's difficult distinguishing that person's own achievements with what the community has also achieved. So um, for instance, if, if the person has, what's the name? discovered something or, or has um, created a, a big business or something usually they don't say that this particular person did that this person has made an impact they say that this person from this community brought an impact mm, so like a, a, it is difficult distinguishing between that particular person and the community he belongs with. Mm. Thank you, Richard. Thank you for your input. Except that if you marry to, do we all marry your wife with you? <laughs> oh, no, no. Uh -huh. So there is a place. It's not all, for... it's not all, it's not all aspect. Mm. Exactly. So we, that is, so we want to clarify. I don't want to give answers now. But so you can okay. tell that there, are, there is a place for individuality. And there is a place for communality. And then currently there is a debate that is seemingly problematic that we are trying to engage first. Then we'll look at what the person's response has been to that, okay. that debate. Thank you very much, Richard. Let's take Tyra now. Thank you. Tyra, what is the problem that is supposedly uh, uh, present? between what, the community and the individual? What is the supposed contention? If we say there is a problem, can, can we capture that problem? What is it that we, we, seem, we think to be what, problematic between what, community and the individual? Okay, thank you, Adam, good morning. Good morning. Um, Lisa, I think that the problem is, um, whether the individual's life belongs to him alone or the community as a whole. Very good. Yeah. That's one way of capturing. Now elaborate. Yes, please. Yes. So, um, um, according to the test, um, which was posted on Sakai, um, like it was a debate that was um, between two school of thoughts. That is the school of um, individualism. And communitarianism, yeah, um, and the individualists like um, Rawls and Robert Nozick, Thank and you. the rest, yeah, have looked for the uh, for the promoting of a special place of priority for the individual. That's the priority of the individual's right and freedom and autonomy. Like, yeah, the individual is supposed to have this right and freedom. Of his or her soul, and the the community realism like um um the community realism like Rosso um JJ Rosso and Hegel especially also um committed were committed to promote the cause of community and its attachment to the individual that in their presentation, they have also looked for significance of community and communal relations to the individual. Like, yeah. And that the, the individual cannot have a freely chosen life detached from the community. So whatever the individual do is attached to, to the community. So he or she is not um, solely free or has the right to yeah, also hold allegiance to the community. That's what I like.
Hello, madam. Maybe you. Yes, my bad. Tara, where are you? But I. <laughs> <laughs> Tara, please. I got you up, up to the place where you said um, where you said autonomy, where you said the individualists like Nozick and what have you uh, uh, emphasizing the autonomy, the rights, liberties of the supposed individual. And then my my I think I mistakenly switched off my my thing to the, the network went went off but i'm back so if you could take up from there so you, you capture the individualist concern or emphasis yeah. versus yeah. what would you say is that those who argue for communitarianism what is their emphasis yes the communitarianism school of thought from rosso and hegel all committed their um themselves to promote the cause of community and its attachment that's um, um, in their presentation, they have also looked for the significance of community and communal relations to the individual. Very good. Right. So the communitarian, yes. those who call themselves community folks, in other words, they are communitarian. Their argument is that we should place emphasis on community, community our relations with others, oh, and not just the individual you see so there we have two extremes so friends listen to your colleagues and how they capture the problem the problem of the community versus the individual you'll find it explicit in the cheese text look on my screen now is that we have had a school of thought a group of people who would emphasize like roles so we, we take from both western and and physical uh, western and African context to make our points clearer. Okay, they argue, those who call themselves individualists, they propose, they argue, they emphasize, they stress what community over and above. Hey, those who call themselves individualists will stress rights, autonomy, freedoms of the individual over and above any obligations that they owe to the, what the community supposed so they would say that it is human rights that matter it is uh, our liberties that should be given priority it is uh, our freedom to so my freedom to do what i want to do so if i, I want to change my face say from uh, uh, what it is now to that of a boat you know people go and then they, they shape their face somehow and they say it is their right their freedom, their uh, what, their autonomy. Now, if anyone that is labeled as individualist would often be stressing mm -hmm, these over and above the people's what obligations or uh, 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 relationality, you know, they, they don't want to say that, oh, that's not how we do things here. Well, but that, I want to do it that way. I am unique. I have my rights. I have my liberties. I have my freedoms. So if I want to do X, then I should be allowed to. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm presenting it in a way that is very crude to capture the extremes that we would call individual, individualist claims versus the one that is crudely what community, community. Now, on your screen, therefore, oh, is this. Keep your mic muted, friends. It's so stressful. Oh, we are recording. Otherwise, your recording will be very noisy. Very, very noisy. You'll see that you can't, uh, you can't enjoy anything. Keep it muted. There are two over 250-something students already and still counting. If everybody opens their microphones, you can imagine. You won't hear anything when I give you the recording. So there will be no point. Keep it muted. Uh, keep it muted. All right. So uh, uh, I'm in Dago, Richard Ochinkrain, and Tyra Hene Nyakwan so far have given us what you can consider as the problem. Should we give emphasis to my rights, my autonomy, my liberty, my freedoms over and above the collective good, what we 
So we are in the lecture hall. Let's put some uh, concreteness to the discussion. Then I'm feeling very cold this morning because maybe uh, I have malaria or I, 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 I took a cold bath before coming. So I'm still having uh, you know, that feeling. And I'm, the, I'm at the lecture hall. So uh, others like me who have come to lecture, but they are not feeling cold. So let's give a typical example. And so we enter the lecture hall and you say, you tell the folks that please switch off the fans because I'm feeling cold. You have a right to, to feel okay. You have paid your fees, yes. But remember, so has others who are sitting there. Do we switch off the fan to, to meet your, your rights, your freedom, your entitlement? Or we say that, oh, but others too are feeling hot. The lecturer is coming to teach. All of us, we all paid fees. What should we do? <laughs> okay, that is an example, maybe not too good an example immediately because it shows a certain bias. But if you extend it to another context, I'm going to marry someone. Remember for an African setting, for example, when you pick someone and bring the person home, the person becomes a family member. So you alone are going to marry. But the person becomes our wife or our husband. Therefore, you could have a remark like, you cannot go and pick a woman or a man for that matter from that kind of place. We don't, we don't share so much in common. Our inheritance systems are different. They will expect that your children come and inherit from your father's house. Meanwhile, we also expect that your children must inherit from their mother's house. Your children will not have any inheritance. Because if they come here, we'll ask them to go to their mother. If you, they go there, they will ask them to come to their father. Because of the kind of inheritance system, system we run. I'm giving you a typical example here, see? So you are going to pick a woman for yourself or a man for yourself that you love, that you want to share life in the future. But if you are going by the system that is run traditionally, for that setting, you may bring a woman home and say, we don't want this kind of a woman from such and such a place. Look at the language, we don't want. The question is, are you the people going to get up in the morning to smell the woman's agoku? You know agoku? The innermost side of the, <laughs> our bread. When a person wakes up in the morning and they ah, sweetheart, how are you? Without pasting, you will smell it to, to my brother. So you must love the woman. Otherwise, you can't, you can't engage all that. But someone is sitting there with the cloth and says, eh, this one, this kind of a person, we can't, we, we cannot marry him. <laughs> now, who's, or what, what should take preeminence? Is it the collective good or the supposed individual good? It is a contest of what? Individual, individual, if you like, the individual versus what? The community. A third instance, I'm giving you three, then we, we can deliberate on them. When we, in recent times, we, we, we were told that some Rastafarians uh, were going to the uh, Achimota school, right, in Ghana here. And then they said, the community called Achimota cannot accommodate this exemption. You want to be part of this community, then you have to conform to how we, we operate here, including the kind of uh, dressing, and whatever that, that we put on you. But the person coming in, the Rastafarians, say this is a religion. What they have on, the locks, is a religion. They have right to participate in the religion that they want. You cannot force, impose a religious perspective onto a person. That was communitarianism versus individualism at play there. It was a typical instance of that. Now, these three instances I've given you is capturing the problem that arises when the community, you should be taking your note too, when the supposed community has rights, I don't want to call the community's own rights, okay? So when communal obligations, belonging, the fact that you have to belong to community, places demand on your rights or your freedoms, or your autonomy, which the individualists or those who hold on to individualism feel that should be given a priority. When we have such a conflict, which one is to be given priority over which and why? 
you could think of Ghana as an individual integrated into ECOWAS or OAE. Okay, and then now we say that the, the, the nation Ghana is one individual and yet has to conform to what? The, the precepts, the arrangement, the dictates of what? OAU. Why? Why can't we do our thing? Why can't we say that Russia is a nation seeking its interests? So it is pursuing its rights, its entitlement, its liberties, its autonomy, regardless of whichever nation. You see how the debate extends from the personal you and I to the, the collective me versus another. When we have such conflict, which one is giving priority over which and why? That is the problem. It is not a straightforward issue. That's why the philosophical. So let's take them one after the other. You want to take any of them and then engage and tell me why you would you would take individualists or the, the view of the individual, what, what they are doing, those who subject individualism and not those who argue for communitarian. Then I can walk you through what the pessimist argument is to do. Okay, so let's take a uh, precious. Which one, which of the views, positions, if you like, do you think is defensible? Would you subscribe to and why? Go ahead. Good morning, madam. Okay, I would like to take the view of the communitarian school because when we take it from the African perspective, we are from a society in the African culture and values that we have. Anything you do, when I do something, it has a whole impact on my family. That's how we think. That's our way of life. That's how we were raised to be. So, for example, let's say I am I'm that. I'm really black. And then I say, no, today I want to become fair. I should think of what my mother in the village will say. I should think of what the people in my community is going to say. Because all eyes will be on me. I shouldn't think, as Rene Descartes said, that I think, therefore I am. Therefore I am. Doesn't I should do something. My friend, let us listen to the lady. I don't bully her. I don't know. What's our background? Precious, go on. As you listen to okay, what my, so, my, my collective will say, yeah. Okay, so she would make a difference yeah, for the communitarian view. Okay, thank yeah, you very much. It should have, have priority over it. Like the individual. I'm playing the devil's advocate, too. So whoever takes a position, I will take the opposite and ask a question. That's what I'll be doing. Right? So, <laughs> so we get to the pessimism <laughs> posture. So, Precious, thank you for your. your input. Can I have an individualist who wants to react? Okay. Hmm. Thank you, Precious. Yes, Please put your hand down. I'm that we've spoken already, so let me take someone else. Okay. Aisha. Aisha to Adam. Aisha to Adam. Go ahead. Let's hear you. You may you may also be a, a, a communitarian or you may you may support the communitarian position. Let us hear you, please. I said you are muted. I said to Adam. Yes, it's unmuted now. Go ahead. Please, I can't see from the screen. I have not put anything on the screen now. I'm asking your view, please. Oh, oh okay. Um, please, for community, what I read was that they are there to um, theories values and support and they also um they they sit down share ideas equal no, I ideas you. and solve problems i said you i said you can you hear me Madam. i'm asking you that yes please if someone made a case that when when there is a conflict when we are mm. there's a disagreement when there is a tension as to whether to allow the communities obligations your obligations towards community to override your individual rights and your uniqueness and your autonomy if there is that conflict which one will be given priority over which one would you go for the communitarian view which says that i am because we are and since we are therefore i am in other words you can't have you without us and we make you who you are eh? Uh, uh, there is nothing like me, 
me, myself, and I. You know, it's not even nice, especially in an African setting, to be talking, I will see to it. I will see. The person is one person who will do that thing, but he will say, we will see to it that we correct that error. We will see to it. It, it looks like it's modest. Is the way we speak. Then when you say, I will make sure that my government, everybody will say, hey, this man who has gone to stand there and say, my government, me, my cabinet, is it yours? You have to say ours, we. It is typical of the African, generally speaking, to want to emphasize the sense of us, we, over and above the, the language I, me, myself. And you saw that in the text. My question is, which of the two views, if you were given the option, will you subscribe to, will you support, and why? You may not even support fully, but if I were to give you those two alternatives, because personism doesn't support any. Personism critiques the language they are engaging in. But I want to do a build up. So let me know your views on that, okay? All right, so I shall go and come again. Unfortunately, I won't be able to give a mark right. uh -huh. Come again, All okay, let's right. take care, uh, Jerry. Most okay. welcome. Darius, let's hear your view on the communitarianism individualism debate. Would you emphasize individualism over communitarianism and why? Go ahead. Madam, we choose communitarianism because, as my friend said earlier, what I do affects others. and. Uh, Kenyatta, in one of his writings, said, nobody is an isolated island. So whatever I want to do, I should take into consideration that there are others that my actions will affect. OK. Thank you very much. But yes. is it, would it, wouldn't that be the most reason why we will have to look out for the rights of and the entitlement and the uniqueness? People are not the same. People have choices. People have uniqueness. You cannot say that we don't like the woman you are going to. Are you the one who is going to wake up to smell her armpit? I will smell it. <laughs> Let me make a choice that when I wake up and the person is lying by me and the armpit is very, very smelly, I can tell her with love that go and back. Not somewhere you go and bring me. So three years, I'm already married to some grandpa. Because the society, the community says so. Then they put me there. I didn't have a choice. Would that be a good society? <laughs> I want to hear from any individualist who wants to defend that. You see, there will be problems. If we, we just said the community and its obligation and its demands and, and the welfare of community should be given primacy, that is, it should be treated prior to individuality, how would we even change anything? There will be no uniqueness. Uh -huh. There will be no, our liberties will be trampled upon. Don't you think so? Thank you, Jaris. And Emma. Let's take uh, NS Kobina. Let's take NS Kobina. Oh. NS Kobina, babe, go ahead. Eh. I'll take your comment maybe after right. that, Gloria. Yes, sir. Then we, we can continue. Check your microphones. I can't hear you. Go ahead. Hello, Doc. Yes, sir. No. Yes, can you hear yes me? sir. All right. I'll choose communitarianism um, against individualism. Why? Um, no, because I, I will talk to you. Um, you can read. You can read. I'll talk from the rising point of view that um, our actions to create the greatest happiness for the greatest number of people is, and if it's wrong, it means it doesn't create um, the greatest happiness for the greatest number of people. Yes, please. Uh, Ellen, sorry to interrupt you, but you know that uh, utilitarianism has its own challenges. We raised a lot of issues yeah. against utilitarian view. How would you confront yes. those, please? Yes, go ahead. Yeah, I want to say that our action to come with the standards of our community. If we say we are we are taking our right and then our turning upon ourselves, maybe we might be committing some social 
Yes, very important point you make there. Sorry to be interrupted. I just want to enrich your argument, okay? So very important point you make there that if we allowed uh, NS to go ahead and do what he wanted to do, that could infringe, that could infringe on the rights of others. So here you are making a case for rights. You see that? You may not only be speaking uh, community, community and its welfare. You are actually in the bid to protect rights. So you are saying that, look, if we allow everyone to do what they are doing without any restriction, then in the long run, we may not be able to protect the rights of others. So you are really interested in rights, individual rights, but you feel that we should achieve that by uh, being concerned about the welfare of the collective. Yes? I just muted all, so you have been muted. Please, if you could just unmute. Your friends wouldn't permit us to have a straightforward discussion. Yeah. Don't you think so? I just think that in your, in your elaboration, you would realize that you, you said that if we allowed everyone to do what they wanted to do, then before long, we'll be infringing on the rights of others. You see? So it is important that we seek the communal welfare, community and its welfare. And I'm saying that then it means that ultimately what you are trying to preserve really is rights, which is what the case of individualism is. So you felt that you were making a case for communitarianism. But as you explore and expand on your argument, it will look like ultimately the protection is for rights really so you you are making a case for individualism by rather arguing that we should we should seek communal welfare so that it will ultimately protect rights don't you think so yeah great thank you ernest let us hear gloria then thank you very much ernest gloria go ahead let me hear you i want to see what you made of the text i think i'm impressed well done you read the class read by go on. Hello, madam. Yes, Auntie. Please, I'm speaking from the community side. Go ahead. The community you find yourself determines what you are supposed to do. For instance, I went to a Catholic school. Yeah. And they have something like Station of the Cross, which is done, I think, every month. You have yeah. to engage yourself because that's the community you find yourself. So here the yes. school becomes a community. So if yes. you, know you can't do what they are asking to do, then you have to stop the school. Yes, madam. We have heard you will stop it. Eh? Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. Can the community be wrong? I just want my lady to react to that. Can the community be wrong about what they thought they knew or what they thought was right all this while? Like Adolf Hitler's community pursuing Jews and instructing that they should be whatever killed it was a community a collective that made that decision as inspired by what i mean one person convinces the collective and then the collective says yes it is wrong to do this one and then now whoever is found as a jew was pursued a whole america in the past would not allow blacks to vote there was a black church and a white church the playgrounds for children, there were places, if you were lucky, for blacks and others for whites. America, our own America, human rights America. <laughs> the community, the whole collective subscribed to that until individuals rose up and questioned it. The protestants emerged from our, our previous Catholicism. You see that? They protested because they felt that something was not being done right. So individuals shoot out of the collective and change the status quo. If the collective, in other words, the community and what it is saying and its prescriptions were always right, then there wouldn't have been any communal change. There has to be someone, the, the ability to rise out of the collective. And that is where the uniqueness, individual thoughts, uh, uh, what's the other one? autonomy, freedoms, 
are giving space to operate ingenuity. They, those are not collective qualities. They are individual qualities. So if the whole society was wrong, like the, in the past, we would say human sacrifice. That is what our, our mamre, our collective, whatever said, for example, I'm just giving an example. It has to take individual ingenuity. Someone must raise questions to change it. Now, if the, the collective is always right, then how is that possible? See what I just did to your argument. I threw it out <laughs> big time. Now, just so that we can we can see where and how it is that pessimism comes in and what it means and how it even differs at all. But great job, Gloria. Thank you. Let me take that the final one. And you have to bear with me. I see 19 hands. We will take or we'll finish the lecture with your just your interaction. So let me take uh Gloria, what was your full name? Oh, I saw only Gloria. Add it so that you don't lose your mind. Let me take. Gloria, the same name is what, please? Abankwa. Abankwa. Okay, thank you, Gloria. Yes. Very good. Now I'll take uh, Raphael Konya, and then I can take you through the, the text proper. Okay, bear with me, the rest of you. Raphael Konya. Okay, thank you. Please, good morning, mommy. Good morning, sir. Okay. Thank you so much for the opportunity. I think yeah. that uh, individualism should be taken at the expense of uh, communism. Communi communitarianism. Don't confuse them, please, okay? okay communism is a totally okay. different something. You would normally uh, okay. uh, contrast communism with uh, libertarianism. And these normally speak of economic systems, the communist society, whatever. Okay, not that. This one is communitarian, community area. So communitarian thinking, and it's a social and political philosophy versus individualism. Okay, so go on, sir. Okay. So I'm saying that I would think uh, individualism at the expense of the communitarianism. This is of the fact that even though, yes. The community, the communitarian says that an individual is part of the community and he's defined yeah. as a part in the community. So because of that, whatever he does affects the society. Yeah. But this is one thing I want to set for second because the individual, even though whatever he does affects the community as a whole. By then, don't you think that if the society should decide what the individual should do, it should be like the uh, the freedoms and the liberties of the individuals be limited. So I think that in spite of the communities uh, protecting our rights, as uh, at least the community should still allow us to decide really what to do. The community should not impose on us what to do and what not to do. That's okay, my argument. Thank you, right. So that means if I got you right, you, you admit that there is a place for community, uh, communal yes, obligations, our obligations to the community, they need to respect the yes. space, the input, some of them. But then what you think should not be admitted is an imposition. So people might be giving room yes. to express themselves insofar as that doesn't undermine our communal world. Did I hear you on that? Is that what you wanted to say, sir? All right, then that should tell us that so far we all can admit thank you very much we, we all would see that you cannot be a strict individual individualist in other words you cannot subscribe to individualism fully or communitarianism fully without progress that is why the pessimist view comes in and i'm going to walk you through the text so i will Unfortunately, I will have to disallow all microphones until I'm done. Then I will allow it so that you can ask your questions. Okay, so let's work that way. People won't just cooperate so that we can have the full thing. We will just be talking at the background. So I will disallow your mics for a while. Okay. Now, let's engage the content proper. On my screen, 
I'll work you. Make your notes, please. This is the full lecture. Don't expect an addition anywhere. If there is a, a, any top up for the in-person session tomorrow with the class, it will be to take questions and clarification, just like I did with uh, the last week. We engaged on the mind for the excuse me, Brussels reality versus appearance, because your friends took us off very well, but you still have the recorded lecture. So this is the full lecture. To, to have that frame. Don't think that, oh, this is a infra -pra queen. We are just uh, doing introduction, appetizer. We will do the lecture for. If we go tomorrow and there are no questions on this, I'll start the next topic, like we plan, okay? For the half of you that will come, and the other half will enjoy the recorded interactive session. When we do that, I think we will make good progress. Now, the text for pessimism has some details. It was written by yours truly an article published, proudly published. I like that content very much. I think it was a good job done. Uh -huh. That's the abstract. When you read it, it tells you, it gives you a fair idea of what is there. The language is a little bit technical, not technical, a little bit uh, uh, difficult for your level. That's why I want to walk you through the text itself, okay? So you would see that the disagreement in the communitarianism, individualism debates, I try to recap it. I try to recapture it in a way that will set the, this discussion up well, because the pessimist view is going to critique individualism. It would also critique communitarianism and show them that perhaps they, they could have a synthesized view which captures all of their demands and, and, and make some more progress in Social, social political thought, if they will clarify the language they are using, first and foremost, and then the concepts that back that language, okay, the language of what the individual, when they are speaking and they say the individual, the communitarian is saying the individual, the individualist is also saying the individual. What is this, the individual that they are referencing, which is, which seems to be what the bone of contention, the disagreement on it. So individuals say, give the individual and his rights and his autonomy and his freedoms what priority over and above the community and its what obligations and welfare. That's what the individualist is saying. And the communitarian is saying, no, sir, slow down. There cannot be individual without community. Without the community, there is no individual. So all these things I'm saying is what you see captured by a, a, the African thinkers, especially Africans, are mostly thought of as communitarian. You see that not all are like that. That she plays a moderate kind of communitarian. It's the moderate And then you will find one or two others who want to think of themselves as what uh, liberals. That's a middle line as well. Okay, but typically the Africans are seen as African thinkers, sociopolitical thinkers are considered communitarian. You saw Menkichi. Mm? I keep going and coming. So this this recap captures that. See, from this page, from page 243 onwards, to help your revision, you will see the African perspective on your screen now. From an African perspective, to ask the question, does the individual's life belong to him or does it belong to the community? This is quoting Menkichi. For instance, the response will be, this is an abominable statement. We don't even talk about I, I, I. According to Menkichi, as far as Africans are concerned, the reality of the communal world takes precedence over the reality of the individual life histories, whatever these may be. We don't talk individual, we talk collective. When they see you, they say, whose son are you? Where do you come from? That is our focus, says Menkichi and others. You will see Sengo, you will see Redu and Jechi. Your friends did that, and I'm so impressed about that. I thought people haven't even seen the text. Well, assignment help a lot. <laughs> assignment put people on their toes. So you will see in Bitti's quote that your friend uh, Abdemdako hustled with a bit, but finally got to it. I think, therefore, I am, excuse me, Sasa. <laughs> Sasa. Uh, I am because we are, and since we are, therefore, I am. You can say I am without already implying we are. I does not exist independently of the we. This is the point they are making there. Social political. So you see in BT, there is something from Kenyatta as well. We have moved now to page 244 that you see Kenyatta there. And then 
a little bit of Dixon. All these authors are touching on the supposed communal nature, communitarian nature of what a human person. See what uh, Kenyatta say, says, nobody is an isolated individual. I'm highlighting, so please be focusing, or rather his uniqueness is a secondary fact about him. First and foremost, he's several people's relative and several people's contemporary. That is first and foremost, says Kenyatta. So when I see you, the first and I will free him, where do you come from? As for your rights and your uh, what your autonomy and your liberty, your uniqueness, it's, it's considered secondary. Hey, what's up, Papa? You look like your father. Where do you come from? Do you speak to you, you know, that is what we are into. All the relational bit about you is what, according to these authors, is giving what priority. Okay. In other words, for them, there cannot be a, an individual without community. That is supposed to ground the case they make for what emphasis on communal welfare, the welfare of the community. What the community prescribes should be given what a priority over and above whichever rights you have. That is what the guy said, whatever these may be. Okay. Then if you go to uh, the earlier one, you know, and I, I recap it here again, 244, you see that the Western thinkers like Kant, like Rawls, you see the military, Rawls, for example, in level 300, Dworkin, Nozick, those who emphasize right, think of America today compared to the America I mentioned earlier, where blacks couldn't vote. Women were not even voting, <laughs> you see? So it, rights, freedoms, autonomy, what have you, the Westerners, like Rawls, like Kant, according to this paper, you see them there, will stress rights over and above communal obligations or collective obligations, okay? Now, the communitarian critique then, so if someone has come and made a proposal, like we have to give enough room for people's freedoms, their liberties, their autonomies, let them be. They are two guys, they want to be together as husband and wife. What, now your own, you know, that kind of thing. It is their right. Then we, we start speaking that way. Now, that's supposed to capture what we call the individualist view. And then the communitarians, critique that. They say, no, but you cannot come and say, I have decided that I have a human face. Now I want an animal's face because I have a right to choose the face I like. Yes, you have that right. But remember your child has what? An entitlement. You are a mother. The child has that entitlement. You can go and change your face. But did the child say he wants a, a, a dog mother? Why have you gone to change your face without recourse to her? You are related. So we are going to build the argument. You are necessarily someone's brother, someone's mother, someone's lecturer. So at the lecture hall, the fun situation I, I, I gave you earlier, whilst it is important that we respect your right to get fresh air, so you want to wear some bikini type of dress to the lecture hall. You should also respect our right to concentrate. We need to have a concentration to listen to the lecture. We didn't come to see pictures. So you cannot come in your panty without your top and say, I have a right to feel fresh air. So you are expressing your right, right, right. Have you forgotten that someone also wants to concentrate on a lecture? So you are coming in, you know, gra, 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 10 minutes late without your top, wearing pants. I'm, I'm giving you vivid picture so you understand what the debate is about. And come and sit at a lecture hall. Have you forgotten that that is a lecture hall? That's not your bedroom. So you're frying ripe plantain 12 midnight in your room. You bought the plantain, yes. Perhaps the house where you built it or you rented it, you have paid. But remember, others also have a right to sleep. You can't be disturbing people with your car horn or your, your music in the car. Boom, 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 cha, boom, 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 cha, 12 midnight because it is your compound. Have you forgotten that people also have a right to, to, to sleep well? Okay, so that is the contention there. People also want to sleep in the afternoon, so they say you shouldn't cook. Hey, Masa, why? I bought my own food. Why? Can't I eat my, the food I want to eat? So there is that tension. There's that tension. And it expands even to the economy, social systems. But I don't want us to go there. You do that in level 300. Where your own money that you have worked hard and earned, the government taxes it. 
understood that they can balance the system and take care of it. What? Yes. You work for it. Yes, it's my money. Yes. But you live in a society. You take care of the police who takes care of all of us. The school roads. You don't do your own roads to your house. So bring it. In fact, we take it as task, including eleven. <laughs> it will be taken. It is your money. But before you get your own portion after the hard work, we would have taken ours as government. Why? So Nozick and his folks who are extreme, if you like, are labeled as extreme individuals, libertarians, who say it is it is a crime to take what is ours in the name of taking care of the poor. That is where we get into what? The economic systems, socialist, uh, uh, capitalist, and whatever. But for now, I set it out nicely for you, for you to see that each person has a strong case they are making. Now, how do we interrogate it? Then I would have said any question, but when you open the microphone, people will shout their head off and won't, won't let us listen. So if you have a question, write it down, open shortly. Let us set it out again, the next bit of it. So you know authors speaking for the individualist view, mostly Westerners, and then those speaking for community and social welfare and obligations, mostly African. And that should be between pages Two four zero, yes, excuse me, two four two, all the way to two four four of the text. Then we can now come to what the individualist says. So look at the various arguments that have been made. Of course, you can have some Western communitarian thinkers as well. Let me add that it's important. They are labeled communitarian. They themselves don't want to even be called communitarian, really, because they feel that communitarianism will pull the individual all the way into community said that you might not even have rights again. They are Western, so they don't want to be called communitarian. I captured that. But some want to be called Republican. Some want to be called liberals. But they make a case in defense for community welfare. One of them is Charles Taylor, not the, not the president Charles Taylor. He's an author, Charles Taylor. There's also Michael Sandel. They are all in the text. Know the names, I will ask you. Know what they are saying. Know why they are labeled, what they are labeled, OK? Then there is McIntyre, McIntyre, Alessia McIntyre. Okay. These are authors that are stressing, they are supporting the communitarian argument. They make communitarian defense. What does Taylor say? Taylor says, you can't talk about rights. He's, he's defending the community. He's saying, those of you advocating rights, 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 as if human beings are atoms. You know an atom. An atom is the smallest indivisible part of matter that can exist on its own. Atoms. He said human beings are not atoms. We didn't drop from nowhere, bra, very have come. Before you landed, cry was it was a community decision. Your mother and your father, father called mommy, mommy put mommy at some corner be there, and then got her pregnant for you to come into the world. You came into a world already existing. This is what the chick captures, the chick and redo. Unipa free through the sea. When a human being descends from above, he or she descends into a human habitation. In other words, before you even had eyes and ears and legs to have rights, there was already a pre existing social, communal, collective context, a place. It had rules, it had the language. So Taylor emphasizes what language. Your self-understanding, for you to even understand yourself, it is as a result of what? The engagement you've had with your communal others, your immediate communal others, your mother, your father, that is if you stayed with them, or your auntie. So you may be Ghanaian, but if you were born in Afghanistan, you will eat Afghanistan food. You will learn Afghanistan language. You will carry yourself in an Afghanistan way until there is a transplant. In other words, until you are moved from one place to the other. Therefore, human beings cannot talk of rights. Says Taylor, I will ask you, Charles Taylor, is arguing that you can't even talk meaningfully of rights outside of what? A certain communal community context. See? Now, he also talks about agency and language. All of them depend on what? An already existing social context. Michael Sanders says something around that, except that he will stress that what, even the substance of freedom, for you to say freedom, they are speaking the same thing. So let me 
put all the three of them together. I'm talking about Taylor, Sandel, McIntyre, and capture their page. The right that you are making claims of must presuppose options. You can't have a right if there aren't options from which to choose. You have a right to school, you have a right to this, you have a right to this. Then there has to be already what? Provision made for those options. Who will give those options from which you will choose for your right to be minimum? You see that? Those options must have already been what provided by a communal, a collective contest, a place. So community must provide that. The problem, however, is when we start seeing the community and it makes it a specific community. And that is problematic. That's where pessimism differs from you. So look at the way the argument are pessimist. The pessimist agrees with the communitarian to an extent and then shows that, but here you have a problem X, Y, or Z. And you go and agree with the individualist to an extent. I say that, but look at, you have this X, Y, or Z problem if you hold your view. Therefore, I synthesize the two. I put the two together, look at it, look at it, and speak this way, and understand this, and understand that, and then you are that. That's what the pessimist paper contributes to the debate. I think it's a beautiful one done there. So the, the point of these Western, if you like, communitarians who are supporting the communitarian view, which says that what? What is the communitarian view? We should give primacy, priority eh, to community obligations welfare, the collective welfare, that should be prior to any mentioning of what uh, rights, autonomy, freedoms. The, the freedoms and whatever must subject itself to what, what the collective will benefit from. Then the individual is, but that's problematic. We can all be wrong as a community if we don't allow individual ingenuity, creativity, uniqueness. You must allow people to be so they can create. Creativity is not a collective thing. It comes from one person, then others can join. So if we do that, we'll stifle growth. We will not progress. We can't even think. You will sit on people's freedom. Remember, says uh, Nozick, that sometimes what we call collective good, no cry, it is some few individuals good that they say it's a consensus, our society say. It is some individual good to allow individuality, individuality, see, to preside over the community and the, and the supposed one collective right. So self-understanding, the substance of freedom itself, the thing that makes you free as the options that you choose from so that your freedom will be meaningful, have to be provided first this guy. And then uh, based on that, they say, so if there is anything at all, what you are naturally, communal person should be given priority over and above what your individuality. Now, so you will see then that I touched on that Taylor, uh, will label the individualist arguments as what atomist. He calls them, you people are behaving as if human beings are atoms. So he calls them atomism. You see level 300, you study, I'll give you text on atomism. That's if we do social and political philosophy together. If. All right, Sandel, I've said, I've, I've talked about Sandel, when you read it, it will not be clear. So on the screen, what then is the challenge? of the communitarian against individualism. They say the communitarian critique of individualism from both perspectives perspective is therefore what? What is their critique? They are critiquing individualism for what? They critique them that, why are you saying, you see that the text is I want to capture it. You cannot have rights, freedoms, liberties outside of an actual human habitation. That's what on your, is on your screen now. The communitarian view rejects the thought that human beings are rational, free, and autonomous, independently of social context. Rationality, freedom, and autonomy, yes, but it has to be situated within for a, a, a communal context for it to be meaningful. So your rights will make sense only within what? A communal context. That's why the, that community and its well-being must be given priority. You are naturally a relational being. You belong, you are embedded. That is the language of Sandel. You are uh, uh, encumbered. That is all those words there are for those authors. Uh, the unencumbered self, the embedded person. You are constituted by society. Look, some of you, when you start speaking right now, I can tell you where you come from, straight. <laughs> you know, so, 
as soon as the person starts speaking, you can even sometimes even the facial expression, the mark on the face, you can tell. It's not straight, it's not easy to be talking individuality without the communal page of you. You are your father's son. All right. If those are clear, then what is the debate? Uh, what is the intervention by the pessimists? Walza. Walza is also one of them. Did I add Walza to the three people? Michael Sandel, uh, what is the other one? Uh, uh, Charles Taylor, McIntyre, and then Walza. Walza says you cannot think of justice outside of a, 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 a communal contest. In other words, what is right or wrong, morality, good, bad, a just society. You can't have it outside of a specific context. It always has to start from a specific context. All right. So you will see why McIntyre, for example, will, will deny rights. It's not that he's saying human beings shouldn't have rights, but he thinks that you cannot start the whole discussion of justice, of society, and what are you from rights. That is dubious. It is like the talk of witchcraft, he says. <laughs> you will see that in the text if you read it fully. Okay. They don't start talking when you are discussing human beings. Don't start talking from rights, freedoms, autonomy. They will be meaningless if you don't situate those uh, uh, qualities within a context, within a community, or a, a, a specific context. Okay. All right. So then, we will now examine their view. Let me let me allow you to talk a little. Then I, we can now look at the pessimist view. So let's allow Mike to attend this. All right. Now, if there are questions, let me take them quickly before I go into the contribution that the pessimist makes to help resolve the conflict. Please put up your hand if you have a question. I see six hands. Is there a question? I see four. Good. So those who have questions can speak. David Latte, if it's a question, go ahead. You can unmute. Or if it's a contribution, you can go ahead and ask. David Latte. Is there a question? Okay, San Wenda. Boma Enoch. Are you reacting, asking a question? Or Boma, go ahead. Hello, doctor. Yes, sir. Hello. Go ahead, sir. Um, please, uh, I, want, I want to ask whether the, there are opposing views to the view the pessimist. Whether there are opposing views to what? So, so the point is the pessimist to the Yeah, I can hear the rest. Of it. To, to the individualist view? Yeah. Yes, I hear could you move around a bit and then come come again? There's some noise at the background, so we can hear you. Hello. Yes. Uh, Enoch. Hello. Yes, sir. Hello, Doc. Enoch, we can hear you I'm now. Go ahead. Uh, yes. When they, okay, I'm saying that are there any opposing views that the uh, pessimist raise? Yes, you are now going to go into the Personalist view itself. The personalist view is a response. The pers personalist view is a response to individualism and communitarianism. Okay, that's where we are going to. What is the problem that a personalist diagnoses and thinks is, is the reason for the supposed debate? And then what is the personalist view itself? Then we can now go further. Okay, we are going to that no, shortly. Doc, yeah. Doc. Yes. Please, I'm saying that. Did um, any of the two views critique that of the pessimist view? No, pessimism is responding to them. The views that have been labeled as individualism and communitarianism. Okay. So there is individualism and communitarianism, and then a view is critiquing, and after you critique, then you propose. So I don't think individualists have done a good job. I don't think communitarians have done a good job. So here is pessimism as a, a way out. That, that is it. I have not seen any critique yet. Okay. All right. Let me take Asari Kelvin. Doc. Yes, sir. 
Um, please, I want to um, react to that of the communitarianism. Okay, is it to take the individualist position as a reaction to them? Yes, Doc. Okay, go ahead. Briefly, go ahead. Okay, so when we use when we use the issue of the Rastafarian and the Atmotas who as a case study, we realize that um, they take their hair as a form of religion. They take their hair as a form of honoring their deity. And yes. the when when you dishonor your deity, there are spirits that comes to attack you like in like in actual sense, when you dishonor your, your deity, there are there are certain consequences that you face. So that's that, mean that because uh -huh. of so, sorry, sorry, I will interrupt you, Claire, so that you clarify. So me to weep, I'm a fetish priest. I, I mean I'm a fetish priest. They've called me to be a fetish priest. We don't wear clothes. Okay, yes. we do things around our waist. But I have yes. gotten at this to Achimota school. Then I, I, yes. I should be allowed to come with my, and I don't work alone, I have to come with my attendant, the linguist, who can understand me when I talk, with my powder and all. So I, and, and it is a religion, so you can't throw it out. Yes, exactly, exactly. With the powder and then leaves, they are throwing on me. When yeah. Going yeah. Ah, my brother, that's also right. You see, when we want to open the floodgates, we have to, we have to be careful. For someone who can say, me when I'm yeah. writing exam, what I worship, no. when I'm writing exam, I don't sit. If I sit down, get the, I'm, I don't sit. So, and I come with cutlasses because my, my thing is, that's my belief. It's my faith. So, at lecture hall, I'm holding cutlasses. You must allow me to express my faith. I'm just giving the stream. What, what will happen? <laughs> you see that you, you, you can't you can, you can advance any argument now. I have to go and come again. That is the reality. So when when you want to express your faith, or and I, I'm not making a statement of that because I, I I don't even sit in the place to make that statement. But I'm showing you that we could open the floodgate as critical thinkers, as philosophers. We could open it so wide that people will say that I don't write exam sitting. If I sit down, my faith will tell me that I will die that day. So when I come to the example, I will stand and write. Then I'll be working in the lecture hall as part of my faith and copying and writing down the answers. When I finish everything, I give it to you because you have to respect my right. That is the problem. You can have that. Inside. I don't know if you want to continue or you want to go and think again. Come. <laughs> um, okay, so... Yes. Yeah, with um, with the issue of the um, Rastafarian, it's it's something that the world actually I, accepts. No, I don't want you to. Hey, are you coming to talk about faith that the world accepts and the one that the world doesn't accept? What kind of faith uh, different for human rights would that be? It's my religion. You talked mm. about religion. Do, do I have to come and publicize my religion before? You see, there is there is a, a thing that is why. Such discussions, yeah? it is the community versus the individual. That is what is going on. So if the, the, the school or whichever entity also tells you that this is like the army, this is the army. You want to go to soldier, come with X, Y, or Z. Recently, I heard that they said even the, the, the thing about height and what is a human rights issue, and it was sent to court. I don't know, immigration, I don't know what came out of it. But the point is, you want to be a student, you want to be a soldier person, you want to what the other one, you want to enter into, you want to be a, a, a plane printer, a hostess in this our plane. This is how we dress. <laughs> it's not easy, my brother. It's a contentious <laughs> If I'm a Muslim lady, and you tell me that in our in our plane we don't wear this one, if you want to be a, a hostess here, and is it a hostess or an a hostess, whatever, a or an, <laughs> put it in. You can't do hijab. That is an infringement on my right. I mean, you saw me that way, France. You know, it happened there. Like the students should stop wearing hijab because it, it, it is not allowed there. But that is her fate. I think recently to in Ghana it happened. It's a contentious matter. Very, very dicey. That's why it's a philosophical problem. People don't know because we like to rubbish people's entitlement and their rights, left, right, center. And sometimes too, we want to infringe our personal rights onto the collective. So it goes both ways. 
Thank you for the intervention. Think through it very well so that you can give a philosophical response. And it is neither yes, a, a defended view all the time. It is I how you argue it. And not that someone will insist that it has to be you. That's the beauty of philosophy. Okay, let me take Francis and now. Thank you so much, Asari. Francis, fast power. Yeah. Otherwise, I will cut you and go and conclude. Go, 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 go. Go on. Muted. Yeah. Okay. If you could unmute, then you you we will hear you as if you are speaking. Okay, let me let me take uh Mariama. I think Mariama's hand is up too. Mariama, is there a question, an intervention? I want to bring a, a viewpoint. Okay, Obed Asamoa. Obed, hey, the last time I didn't take your question. Obed, ask your, ask your question or make your intervention quickly, please. You are, you are all muted, so if you can unmute. Are there questions? The hands are up. That's why I'm calling you. Mariama, Francis, I know. Okay, go ahead, Obed. <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead. All right. I think we are struggling to hear you. Yes, I can hear you now. I can hear you now, Obed. Go ahead. Okay, hold on. We can't hear you. Wow, can you chat? I think you, you should be able to type a, a response. Can you? Hey. Oh, but go speak and let's see if it's better now. Yes, it's better. It's better now. Go ahead. I'm so sorry, Obed. I have to cut you, okay? Well, let's do this. Let's take your query, your query, or your, your, your input. I'll take it um, when we stop the recording. I can take it, okay? So that it doesn't eat into the recording. Or better still, I can engage you privately. And then if it's beneficial to the whole class, I'll share. Okay, let's do it that way. We have some few minutes to go. Madam, About please, 20 or two. Madam, please, I'm here. No, sir. Hold on for a minute for me. I'm him that we've spoken plenty today. <laughs> yeah, but I so let's let's wrap up on I said wrap up. Let's let's touch on what the the uh, what day? Oh, this is muted. Hey. Uh, the well, questionist responses. Let's let let me finish that one. Then I I will stop the recording because then we'll have the substance for pattern. Then we can do the interactions and and bear with. It. The recorded version should be as as crisp as we can. Still interactive, but crisp so that it doesn't become offensive when you are listening. It, it can be very very. Uh, obstructive to the ear. Okay, so let's let's engage the last bit where the uh, the pessimist comes in. So you would see that all these parts of I'm on your screen now. Watch, please sharing the screen. You see now I'm talking. Since it does not accept the blah blah blah, this is Sandel. We are showing that even the strictest. Now um, there comes the analysis of the pessimist or pessimism. Persons come and say, ah, you people, we don't understand what you are contending over. Why are you pulling your neck? Why are you stretching yourselves over this? I don't think, this is the pessimist, I don't think individualists, the argument for individualism, hmm, ever says that we shouldn't regard community, its entitlement, the obligations we owe to the collective. No individualist will consistently argue that way. This is pessimism prompting, telling the individualist that. I don't think you are making a case that there cannot be 
or we must not respect society. In other words, the collective, its obligations, its uh, uh, the, the need to have integrity, social social welfare, what have you. No, you haven't you haven't argued against that. Even as individuals, you haven't argued against respecting community and its obligation. Then the pessimists will turn and tell the communist, uh, the communalist or the communitarian also that my but my friend, folks, you too, even in your bid to protect community, make sure that uh, there is uh, the stability, communities intact and all that. In your bid to do that, you haven't said that we shouldn't give a place for uniqueness, for individuality, the expression of rights and what have you. That is not what communitarians are saying. They are not against rights. So on the screen now, you will see that I'm pointing out some of the arguments made by these other authors labeled as communitarian and how it still makes room for the expression of rights. If you say that the people are able to change how things have been done in that society, it means you accept uniqueness, yeah? you accept creativity, you accept ingenuity. These are individual qualities. So I'm telling the communitarian that even you, the strict communitarians yourselves, admit that there is individuality or individual rights, so to speak. So there isn't anything that you guys are really disagreeing on if you clarified your language. Therefore, the, uh, the pessimist response is this. You shouldn't be talking the individual. That is what the problem is. When you say we must give the individual priority, I'm telling the individualist now. So see here, yeah, examining the individual in the community, realism, individualism debate, the expression, yeah, that language that says the individual is what creates the problem. So pessimist says we don't have the individual. What we have is a person. In society, we have persons. It's persons that are living in society, not individuals. And you might think that, oh, but that's why it's just a change of language. No, individuality is an aspect of a person. Uniqueness, consciousness, hmm? rights, entitlement, choice. These are aspects, dimensions of a person. So the person is a composite blend of a being. You are your mother's son before you even started talking about rights. In other words, the genes running through you, the language you are speaking, you don't choose them, you are it. Your being yeah, is necessarily communal, relational. Then you build on that to choose others. Okay, so your being is necessarily communal. Look at the language now, it has changed, not the community not the individual, but communality, that is your relational address, versus what? Individuality. These are just dimensions of one human being standing there who is better described as a person. So human beings are persons. As soon as you say she's a person, it encompasses her individuality, her communality. So when I speak to you as a person, then I will have, I will take into consideration your background. If the, if the person sitting in front of you is a person, a queen mother, you don't expect her to be eating in public. She has a right to eat anywhere. But because she's necessarily a, a, a queen mother, you, you can't expect that she will just be expressing her rights left, right, center. Her rights will be infringed upon by her being what she is. She is also a queen mother. You can't walk barefoot. You see, for example, I'm just giving you those instances. So you are a mother, even though you are yourself. You have the right to change your face. You are also somebody's mother. You can't go and change your face because you are thinking only of your individuality, which is just an aspect of you. You are also a communal person. So there is an aspect of you that cannot entertain that. And so if you deal with people as persons, not as individuals, then you can integrate all the various aspects of her so that young Muslim sister sitting in front of me is not just herself, but her selfhood in encompasses individuality where she has a choice, but also communality. She is related. So she's naturally a, 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 
practicing a religion, she belongs to a certain uh, group. She's a woman, she had, perhaps she's a mother, perhaps she's a, a, a lecturer. So all of those aspects come together to form a person. In other words, personhood is bigger, accommodates all the various aspects of the individualist argument and the communitarian argument. It now makes you confront the reality that the person sitting in front of you is fufu, a blend of cassava and plantain. They have been blended together. So what is sitting in front of you is the fufu, not just cassava, not just plantain, where you can say, okay, let's add more cassava than plantain. That's communitarian argument, more community than individual. Or the other one who says more, more individual than community. They, they talk about the human person as if the aspects that constitute her are distinct from each other. So they, he's an individual who is deciding whether he will belong to the community or not. Personalist argument, no, that's not the case. What you have, as soon as a human being stands before you, you will see that that subject already bears what individuality, the language has changed. That subject sitting in front of you should better be described as a person. That means the language has changed. Yes, the concept, the idea behind it is that a person is at once an embodied being, that's body, that has what? Individuality, uniqueness, ingenuity, creativity, rights, freedoms, liberties. That will go for the individuality. They will jump, hey, we won. Before they finish jumping, I tell them, hold on. But at the same time, this person who has these dimensions, qualities, or aspects of individuality, at the same time, necessarily, is also what? A relational being. He has what? Communality. Not the community. Not the individual. But individuality as an aspect of a person plus what? Communality is necessarily somebody's son, is necessarily a Ghanaian, is necessarily speaking a language. If you choose, you choose to change from being Ghanaian to being African, you will all uh, to what being American. It is still a contest. You will now become necessarily something else, okay, than Ghanaian. So your being is a composite blend of what individuality and communality. That's why you should address and engage that human being as what a person, not the individual, not the community, because communities overlap from being Ashanti to being Ghanaian, to being African, to being Christian, to being a woman, to being a lecturer. When you call lecturers, they will come. When you call women, some people will go, but some will still come. So the communities we belong to are not one, and they all influence our lives in our decision making. So you can't say the community who really defines, which community is defining who? Is that Ashanti that is defining me, or Ghana, or the academia, or the church? Which one? So that is also problematic when we engage the community. Therefore, don't talk the community, a specific article there. Don't say that, because we are not influenced by one. There are people in Ghana here now who are more American than the American. Day. They are more Chinese than the Chinese. Because they are eating Chinese, wearing Chinese, speaking Chinese, thinking Chinese, working Chinese, but they are sitting in Ghana. <laughs> because the world is not a global thing. So don't come and talk, the community defines who I am, but there isn't one. However, don't also say the individual, because the, the being sitting in front of you is not just uh, right and freedoms and autonomy. Every time you see a human being, remember he's a person. So this morning, what is happening to that being's mother can affect him or her, because he's a relational other. What is happening to Ukraine and they say, well, if America coughs, the whole, the whole world uh, sneezes, eh? the whole world catches a cold. Something can be happening in America, and people can't sleep in Ghana. Far away, Ghana. Because remittance no go come. Go dollar will be affected. Go import won't come. The point then is, it can affect the person. So when you see a person, a person is a complete, total blend of what? Individuality and what? communality, all in constant flux, they are always changing. So this minute, you, you, you want to change your face to a goat. The next minute, because you, you, you came home and your children laughed at you, you want to change because you owe them an obligation as part of your being. It's not optional. 
then that will also satisfy the communal, uh, the communitarian folks. That, oh, no, that, that, then that helps us. So the debate then will be how to reconcile our individuality and our communality. Now the contest is within you yourself. It's no longer the individual versus the community, two distinct supposed entities, but it is now you as you are seated. Will you choose the joy you will have from watching football the whole night or Netflix the whole night? You enjoy it, it's yours. Over and above, staying and doing your homework so that you can benefit and make your mommy and daddy proud as a first class student. It is now within you. Your individual choice within you versus your communal choice. It is still the human person that now has to deliberate over which one should be given an advantage. There's a paper, I, I haven't been able to look at the review comment on self-rule. That is, it is an appendix, or better still, it is, a, it is, what's the expression? It's building on this argument, beautifully done, telling you how to manage the two aspects, two dimensions of a human person and which one you would want to give priority over. Remember, this science is within you. So even if you give your communal aspect an advantage over your individual aspect, it's still you, Nancy. It's still you. Uh, where are the names? It's still you, uh, Ampim Dapo. It's still you, Mariama. But you, you with what the different aspects of all put together. If we engage persons as what they are, then society, should confront matters from that perspective. That is where you will start looking at the hijab as, a, as an important discussion that must be had. Because the person sitting there is not just a self who has come to school. So the rule says X, Y, or Z, period. You are not listening to any other thing. No, she is a Muslim lady. She has a her faith. You may want to consider it because it's an aspect of her being. If you want the woman to work well, remember she's a woman, she'll get pregnant. Maternity leave, you must have a package for that. Giving recognition to the various aspects that make up her being. If you come to the workplace, you realize that if you, if you are not concerned about how the family of your colleague, whatever, your subordinates in the office, office are doing, you will have a big challenge. You will not deliver. If people give him 100 million to count as a teller, he will write 10,000 days. Because he's thinking about his sick grandfather, okay, who is at home. But if you are able to work all that out, then you are improving on the person, not just the individual who sits before you. But you remember that as he's sitting before you, he is a member of Ukraine. Ukraine, they are receiving bombs and he's sitting in Canada here. Why Ukraine? We give him a, a day off. You know, say, but you are not in Ukraine. The thing is happening there. You are not from there. What? Concentrate. No, you don't understand person. Personhood is both individuality and communality blended. Thank you very much. Now I will take some of you to read for me, unless it's a question that you have. We have five minutes, you can use it to clear that. Okay, so if you want to read, well, I don't know who to call. So let me say, open, <laughs> unmute and read, and that's horrible. But we will meet you. Yes, I'm reading. What's your name, sir? I'm pleased to say Hey, Brian Pim. Come on, go for the same way. Okay. No worry. Let Brian Pim that put it. Actually, I want to ask a question. Just a minute. Read over it and then we'll ask it. Ask, hey, hey, I said, ask your question and then we'll read the diagnosis and consequences. Okay. Brian Pim that put your question. Okay, Madam Pito, so, um, if I'm getting things clear, I mean, I'm a uh, person who is trying to say that um, before somebody does something, he should consider that he should consider that um, he has um, the community, even though the community has shaped him to a certain point, um, he has the right to decide whether to do something for the community and um, or to belong to the community. Okay, personalism is saying that. We don't have just individuals living in community. What we have are persons. And persons just mean human beings that both have what? Individual aspects and communal aspects. Human beings that have rights, but are at the same time 
relational. So both of these aspects are necessary to their being. So you can't fulfill one and leave the other. They, the two come together. They are one, uh, what? They are intertwined. You must treat them all equal and uh, equally. And these are what aspects of the human person. That's what pessimism, pessimism is saying. That would mean that. So the case that the individualist is making that respect people's rights, their uniqueness, their freedom, what have you, will be accommodated by the pessimist. And then the concern that is projected by the communitarian. But we can't let people just go around doing what they like. We must be interested in the obligations they owe to the collective. We must be interested in the stability we need as a collective, the social welfare, all that. We must give priority to it. So we shouldn't let, let people go doing haywire, doing what they like. Pessimism will admit that also. How would the pessimist make that? He said, stop talking the individual. As if give the individual right then. The, the human being sitting in front of you is not just an individual. If you say it's an individual, you will detach her or him from all connections that he or she has naturally. Relational others. You won't think about the fact that she's a woman. You won't think about the fact that she's a, a Ghanaian. You won't think about the fact that uh, what she, she belongs to school and so religion. You won't think, and they are naturally part of the person's being. You will just be dealing with a certain, that's why people go and, and, and change their faces. If you want to do X or Y, let's use the controversial one. If you want to sleep together, even though you are people of the same sex, you will be thinking only perhaps eh, about your entitlement. What about them? I like to use the one that changes its face from a, a human being to that of a good in the name of rights. So if I'm a mother, I'm going to work, I'll be back this evening. I tell my children that. And then by the time I return back, I have whiskers. On my face, I'm going to do plastic surgery and I've turned to a good. It was my right. I was just fulfilling the individual aspect of me. But I can't do that to the detriment of the communal aspect of me. I'm somebody's mother. And so both must be respected. And so here is an issue. When I have this conflict of interest, individuality of this person, me, contending with my communality, which one should be giving priority over it and why? So the debate has left the community versus the individual, as if it's Akan or Asante versus Nancy or uh, Ghana versus Nancy, where Ghana is the collective community and then I am the individual, okay? Now it's no longer this, suppose the community versus the individual because the, the discussion goes beyond that. It is now one person Nancy sitting down like this, but having different aspects. She's connected to different people, family, church, student. I mean, if your lecturer comes to the lecture with a, a good piece, how, how, <laughs> when you say stand up everybody, how will you listen? You say, this is not our lecture. I owe an obligation to my people. The, the Ohinima, the, the queen mother, owes an obligation necessarily to the people she represents. Nana Adudanko Adudanko cannot go and sit at a public place and be eating. No, 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 no. We have to protect him because he is not there for himself again. You see that? If someone destroys him, he has destroyed Ghana currently. If he gets off the seat, maybe he will think twice about it. <laughs> but currently, he is not himself alone. This is the point we are making. So don't think of him as an individual sitting there. He's somebody's father, somebody's grandfather, somebody's president. If he doesn't, if he signs something today, Ghana can sleep the whole day. Remember COVID-19. So he's no longer the individual. That is how we should think of every human being as a person necessarily having what relational ties. Community is not optional to your being. You are naturally necessarily a communal person, just as you are naturally necessarily what a being with what individuality. And the two must be given equal moral standing. That's the argument of the pessimist. All right. I want someone to read for me quickly. We can we can continue with the discussions when we meet in person. Let's use the few minutes to read. A very good reader so that we can capture so much. Diagnosis and consequences. Quick. Diagnosis and consequences. Let a gentleman read. I think he can't read. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let a gentleman read. Diag diagnosis and consequences. Diagnosis. From the <laughs> Go on, sir. From Go the on. discussion so far, 
Excellent. One of the ways in worth making is the diagnosis that many of the difficulties of communitarian arguments stem from proponents, proponents self assigned tax to improve the individualist conception of the individual by arguing for a restoration of its natural and necessary community, communal ties and obligations. But although the communitarian vision to correct this misnomer may be valuable, the project cannot be discharged fruitfully in the individualist conceptual tangled vocabulary, the individual, without attracting criticisms that question the place of individuality in the context of community embeddedness of that individual. To avoid being misunderstood or yet still confusing her own project, the communitarian need, to, need not make it a preoccupation to seek to improve upon individualist conceived individual in the very terms of individualism. Okay, you could go on and on and on. Okay, let me just summarize that. So we are just telling the two debating positions that speak the right language and we will not have too much to deal with. Now, when you speak the right language, let it mean what you say. So don't say the individual, we should give the individual priority over and above the community. Don't say that. Because when you say that, the communitarians will have an issue with you. Because they will tell you that that person sitting there in front of you, you are calling the individual. I fed him. I gave him the language that he speaks. I protected him. I here referring to the what? The collective. Okay? So if you grew up in, within a certain frame, you cannot come out of even the option, the right you are making claims of that I'm entitled to this right or that right. It has to be provided by someone. I have a right to this, I have a right to that. Who will it hang in the air? It's a, a certain contest that will provide that. So the communitarian will have an issue if you deal with the human being as if he or she is an individual, as if one. But the communitarian cannot deny that human beings have individuality. This is the point. They are unique. Okay, they have rights, they have a destiny, they have things that are attached to them, unique. That one, even the strictest community cannot contend with it. So they won't disagree and they don't. They accept that people have unique. So some will say it's secondary, yes, but it's still their unique. Okay, so that's what we are telling the folks that change the language from saying the individual, the individual, the individual, to what? The person. But when you change the language, don't make it look as if oh, it's just a change of language. You still have the same thoughts in mind. So even if you are dealing with the person, you say you're right. Her right will always be tied to her responsibilities. Write that down somewhere. Whenever you talk right, it will, it will be speaking about the individual aspect of you. But immediately you say right, remember, it will mean the other side of it will mean what? Your responsibility to others, obligation to others, entitlement that you must give others. Right will always come with it person as a duality, a composite being blended together as they are sitting in front of you. They have individual aspects, but also communal aspects. Very good. Last read. I, I want another person to read that. Okay, so... <laughs> yes, Auntie. I want to go to the conclusion. Okay, sister, read this. What is highlighted, if you can see? Nevertheless, okay. Nevertheless, Nevertheless. the study continues. Nevertheless, hello. I can hear you. Go ahead. Nevertheless, this study content that if the community, community, <laughs> communitarian <laughs> critique as well as the invalid claim the response to this critique. As this ambiguated, hey. It will become read from read from it will become self evident. And read from there. It would become self evident that it community. Now with Journalists alike seek a sense ties thesis that advocates for the person, not the individual, nor the community as 
the object of social political philosophy. <laughs> all that we have said, well done. All that that means is simply this. If we look closely at the two arguments and we take away all the ambiguity, that's when we disambiguate. That's when we take away all the confusions around the way they are using their language, the individual, the community. If we took all of, we will come to a clarity. We'll realize that these two positions that seem to be disagreeing are not really disagreeing. They are making a case, but each person is looking at different angles. So this one is emphasizing more the communal aspect of the person, while the other one is emphasizing more what the individual aspect of the person. So the person says, Therefore, stop saying the community, stop saying the individual, say the person. But when you say the person, understand that as soon as you talk the person, it will include the individual aspects, which is what the individual is stressed, rights, freedoms, what have you. And then at the same time, it will incorporate what? The communal aspect, the fact that the person is related, uh, is, uh, has obligations towards others, et cetera, et cetera. Talk that. So now you'll see that when you read, Personism as a response, you will do so fine. And I want you to do that because I'll ask you how the personist argument helps to resolve or clarify the contention. Maybe not resolve fully because the paper itself says it hasn't resolved it, but helps toward clarify the supposed contention between community and individuality okay you see the con and that is the conclusion on the screen so the last bit there i'm sure if you you engage it as group members you'll be able to produce very good response when i open an assi assignment group work assignment on that merci beaucoup i'll stop the video and then the last one minute or so we can take a few other questions any questions? Doc, please, the question again. 